Minute Beauty and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're turning to the cover, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a um, what I've bought for my dorm room video because I have a lot of stuff for my dorm and I have still a month to go. So I've already started collecting a bunch of things and I thought I might as well share with you guys what I've bought so maybe you guys have an idea of what you want to bring to the dorm with you or if you're remodeling your room you might have some ideas um, with the stuff I got. So I hope you all enjoy this video and let's get started. <laughs> for all the people who don't know I am currently at my mom's place this isn't my normal filming setup so it is different um, than the blue wall that you're normally that still exists that's at my dad's place but the majority of the stuff that I have for my dorm room is here at my mom's so I thought instead of lugging it all the way to my dad's and then having to lug it all the way back to my mom's I might as well just film here so Yes, I'm going to get in to the video and I'm going to start with what I think is the boring stuff because it's kind of boring, at least to me it is. Um, we have some Clorox wipes because I'm going to disinfect everything before um, I actually move in because so many people have lived there and it's um, kind of gross. I have some Tide Pods. Um, just for laundry. There, this is the 38 pack. I have a band-aid case with um, different types of band-aids and some Neoswarm just because you don't know what's going to happen and I'd rather have some than just show up and accidentally get hurt. Um. this um, mattress pad um, topper because that's what the dorm suggested to have a mattress pad topper. This is to go on a twin XL because that's what most of the dorm rooms have. Sorry about the lighting's going crazy. I don't know what's going up. I'm using a studio light which I never do but hey, you know. Sorry. A bunch of my friends are texting in a group chat and I'm curious. Um, the uh, mattress pad is from Bath and Body or Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, the other stuff I believe is like tar Target. Um, I have these two ice trays. Um, they're just blue and they're small because I like really cold water. Um, and there aren't an ice maker in the um, mini fridges that um, my school provides. So I got some of these also from Bed Bath & Beyond. Everything I'm showing right now is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, then I got a 6 outlet uh, 3 inch cord I believe. It's just a power strip um, because your girl goes through power strips like crazy. Almost everything I owned needs power strips so if you're a teenager you understand that you like always have something plugged into an outlet all the time the last thing from bed bath and beyond is actually my um comforter i got um and this light pink Ugg comforter. Um, it is super soft and honestly there are so many times where I've gone and I, I want to use it. I want to use it so bad but it's so soft and it's so fluffy and I know it's going to be warm so I'm excited for that. Um, I'm very excited for that. We're gonna. I'm going to show you the hangers I got because I actually find that I like seeing what types of hangers would be useful in the dorm. Um, so I got these plastic gray ones, which I got at Target. Then I got these metal with felt gray ones that I got at um, like a knockoff home, home store. Um, 
then I got this um, wooden and black um, pant hanger. Um, and I actually have two of these. Um, now obviously that's not all the hangers, I just have been using them. Um, because I like the aesthetic of having all the same hangers. So I uh, transferred most of my clothes onto those hangers. Um, next I have two gray plates. Um, these are the microwave from microwavable 99 cent plates from Target. And then I have um, two of two gray microwavable plates also from Target. Then I have a um, sports Brita because it's a smaller and uh, would be more efficient. And I believe it was also on sale. Also, it's one of my favorite colors. Next we have this, which are just, it's a tower of coffee mugs um, in a marbled pattern that's blue. Um, oh, so I got this, these at the knockoff home store and they're in a stand, which I thought was really cute, um, especially because um, I can put this on my little cart that I have that I also bought for my dorm but won't be showing you because it's currently in use. It's also gray. But like this and we have a, me and my roommate have a Keurig. Um, her sister got it for her for her for Christmas, I believe. Yeah. Next I have this, which I didn't buy for my dorm, but I may or may not bring it. I haven't decided yet. It is just a um, tapestry. I'm kind of leaning against it, but let me know if you think I should bring it or not. Um, I might bring it and then send it home with my parents if I don't like it. Next I have this, which is a pencil holder, but I think I'm going to put makeup brushes in it instead. I think that would be really cute. Um, next I just have this um, pink set of towels from Target. It has, um, it has two bath towels and then two hand towels. So one for your hair, one for your body, and then one for your hands and one for your face. Next I have this beautiful gray blanket which is super soft that I got um, and I love this thing. I've had it. Um, I got it for Christmas, I believe, and so I've been using it since then because it's super soft and it's in my color scheme, which um, me and my roommate decided that we were going to do like a gray, um, like gray neutral color. So like I would have grays and she would have grays, but then we also have our own colors. Um, so yeah. Then I have twin XL bed sheets. Um, I have that one and then I have some more. I have a lot of stuff guys. I'm hoping you guys didn't think this would be a short video. Um, I also have these um, blue bed sheets and these are from Target. I don't know where the other ones are from but my uh, school recommends having two bed sheets so I have two bed sheets and I agree with that because um, as a high schooler I never wanted to remake my bed after I washed my bedding so having an extra sheet was always nice because once I put it in the laundry I could just sh set up and put my bedding up and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. So going with that I got two gray uh, standard pillowcases or just, I mean one, but there's two in here, um, which I thought would be good because um, I have the gray blanket and I have a pink bed and gray and pink kind of look really good together. And then gray, pink, and blue also look really good together. So I like the color combination. Then I got this shower caddy. Um, it's just, it has a toothbrush holder, which I probably won't use because I have a sink in my room, but then it has, um, like a razor um, soap thing. So, I mean, I don't really take a lot to the bathroom. 
I'm not one of those people who have like 16 different hair products um, to take with the bathroom. So I thought this would be perfectly fine because um, I can keep my razor and soap and shampoo and conditioner and that's about as big as I really will need it. Next I have this and this is just an organizer thing. It's a hanging closet organizer. It's also gray because I thought that would be good and this is just to store my towels and um, probably socks I'll have stored in here. So yeah, I'm excited to see how that works for me. Um, and then I have two of these baskets. You can't really see them because they're metal and they have holes, but they have um, rose gold um, candles. And this is probably for things that I like, want to keep out, but like neatly. So, or just to put into my um, dressers to keep them organized. Like I feel like I could, if I wanted to, keep socks in here, or I could keep hair stuff in here. So there's a lot of different things that I could keep out of here. So like if I wanted to put my curler and straightener in here, I think that would look pretty good and it'd be pretty neat. But I have two of those. I also have this big metal basket and this will be for, um, for the blankets I have displayed, I think. Um, because I probably won't keep all my blankets in my closet. I'll probably keep those out, so here's that. Or maybe I'll keep this um, on a shelf for um, keeping pants or stuff in. Um, and then my laundry basket is this. It is a collapsible laundry basket. It's kind of hard to collapse. I'm not going to lie. I struggle with collapsing it. But when it is collapsed, it is um, a pretty, as you can see, it didn't collapse it very well. It is a pretty thin thing. It's kind of bulky this way, but you can just slide it behind your dresser um, if you're not using it. But I think I'm just going to station this on top of the dresser because I have a dresser and not a closet. So yeah. I have one more thing to show you. Um, like I said earlier, I have a cart that I'm, I'm taking, but I'm not showing you because it's all set up. Uh, and that's kind of hard to do. And then I have a fan that's plugged in currently. And of course, I'm also bringing like my Mac and things like that, um, and then clothes. And then I probably will have some more stuff that I'm buying. So I will do a dorm room tour when I am done um, doing my dorm room. So the last thing is this blanket. Now this is a heated blanket because I love blankets and the school that I'm going to is known to be very cold and where I live um, we don't get very cool weather um, so I wanted to be able to be warm and not worry about being cold. So I'm glad you guys made it to this point. I know it was a pretty long-winded video, especially because it was a haul. I know I had a lot of stuff to show you, but I hope this video helped you. If there's anything that I missed that you really think I should bring to my dorm, please tell me. Let me down. Let me know down in the um, comments down below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my content, you can click one of the two boxes over here or my face over here. If you want to see more of my life, you can check out my social media. There will be linked down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and remember to be yourself because you're the only self you're ever going to be. Bye!